when it gets in, can do a lot of damage and kill you easy. So, I'm going to not <laughs> Is that Zazandora? Alright. So, what's right now? Uh, definitely wants to be abusing his back air as much as possible, his forward air. Anything that has long range is going to help you a lot in this matchup. Anything to combat Ken's normals, which are fairly stubby, will go a mile. Alright. Isandora getting these nares, but not getting much off of them. Uh, Ken's nair, great combo tool. Sends you forward on the ground in a slide that allows him to follow up, like chase into, into moves on the ground that he can then special cancel for huge damage. But speaking of huge damage, Inkling's jab will just tack on damage on this character, and Ken's weaker movement tools uh, will allow allow Inkling to uh, throw that stuff on him. He's just throwing out these Shoryukens, which at 73% I can't say is advisable. Maybe in a few more hits it's more reasonable to say to go for these raw Shoryus, but for right now, not so much. Alright, goes on to the roller trying to stay safe. And he's just throwing these out. There, if he got the hit, it might have killed. But, I think he needs to play it a bit safer and try and go for some actual confirms into the Shoryuken. Right now he's playing a bit crazy, and Wes is not biting. Alright, and the raw DP hitting. Well, now we're even. Alright, good pr shield pressure. Proximity jab into Crescent held into the Inazuma kick. Inkling trying to bear to jab or grab, but not getting the follow up. Now, Susanna, I, somebody in chat told me how to pronounce the Ken's player. The Ken player's tag, because I honestly I have no clue. Alright, back air, no jab lock. But gets jab into the jab into or near into the two jabs, which Ken when he lands and you and crosses you up, he automatically turns the other way. So it literally doesn't matter how much knockback you take from that near that jab will connect. And then jab one and jab two are pretty easy to special cancel out of. So you can get that into a crescent kick or into a shoryu or anything and get offensive mix-ups and something like that and just do massive damage. Speaking of massive damage, that sure you doing like 27 and taking out taking out Wes. So uh, despite this Ken player playing a bit unorthodox at the start, he has picked up onto Wes's habits and realized that Wes is not biting as much and has been playing a lot closer and getting sure you can that way. Oh, and he goes for that. Uh, I believe Roller will take you out of focus if you're grounded because it'll just count as a burial move. Not entirely sure on that. Have not played this matchup quite enough to be sure, but focus is a bit scarier against that that move in particular. Alright, goes for the light shore you out of proximity jab. Uh, all shore you do stale together, so I guess he just wasn't sure if I was going to hit. Maybe he tried to cancel into Crescent and got the shore you instead, but not much reason to intentionally go for that over a heavy. Alright, raw you again getting punished, but not too hard. Never mind, I'm wrong about that, and that's costing West the game. My lack of knowledge and his. My bad. <laughs> that move does not beat focus. Uh, Ken is... Ken is crazy. Honestly, I'm not sure if that was bad DI because Pokemon Stadium 2 is such a low ceiling that even with good DI, Ken sure you does kill very early. Yeah. Uh, the proper DI on Ken sure you is down and then slightly away. So between the two bottom notches on your controller pretty much is optimal. So we have Little Matt coming through. This is a matchup that I felt was 
Uh, winning for Ryu against Little Mac in Smash 4, but was weirdly hard due to his tilts not causing trample and then being so fast that they would break focus because he could do two before focus would actually be able to come out. Huge damage coming out from Sazan Sazandora. I'm going to just go with that. Uh, getting the Ken combos, but Wes has KO Punch now. Surprised that he went back to PS2 if he's going Little Mac, though. KO Punch will hit that platform, though, so he can't be too safe. Can't feel too safe camping it. Alright, gets the run up KO Punch, and that's all he needed to, to take the lead. Uh, Ken Satsu, uh, actually yeah, pretty strong in neutral uh, against grounded opponents. Has a lot of hits, and it's weirdly safe. Uh, it's technically not, but he has hits in front of him and behind him, so it can be pretty hard to punish him, honestly. You also don't know off of his audio cue, like, whether he's going to do light or hard or medium Tatsu, and they're all a different amount of hits. So it can be pretty hard to deal with. But yeah, uh, Wes is, uh, enjoying this Mac now, having all this frame data to combat Ken stuff. Uh, feeling much more comfortable boxing than camping, it seems. Alright, text through the fireball. Very surprised that didn't connect, honestly. But yeah, Wes is holding this together. Little Mac, though, terrible character when you're getting stage counterpicked. So, let's see if he can keep it through. Uh, also, keep in mind, he did get a KO punch, so... Has to wonder, like, if he can keep that through without landing them. In the event he has to. All right, and gets the boosted F tilt. Uh, that has to be pretty strong in this matchup. You know, focus won't deal with it. It'll knock out Ken's other moves. It'll outrange Ken's other moves. And the Shoryu can invincibling through Little Max forward smash. They did change Ken's Shoryu so that it doesn't clank anymore. So now it just beats out moves like that if you get it on the iframes. So yeah, we have a pretty even game here, but I would give the advantage to Ken, honestly, because it's a lot easier for him to land a hit here and just take take Little Mac off stage with a Tatsu or land a mix-up. Uh, uh, Little Mac is put in a pretty awkward position because he's just above the ground when he gets hit by Crescent Kick. So it can be pretty tough for him. Even when he has the percent lead, it's scary for Little Mac in this matchup. Because he is just one mix-up away from dying at any time. And Little Mac doesn't quite have those confirms like he used to. So yeah, that proximity jab into Shoryu took him out for missing the down tilt up B. DP is Dragon Punch. Uh, again, 